this is Bill Rafferty, and as the roving reporter, in the last few weeks, I've been to Chicago, Key Biscayne, Florida, Fayetteville, North Carolina, Detroit, Cleveland, and Cincinnati. Now, all of these places varied in excitement, but none of them was like the place I'm in today, because none of them was boring. Boring is a small logging community about 30 miles from Portland. Wherever you go in the town, the signs constantly remind you that this is definitely boring. But I wouldn't want you to get the wrong idea. Take the boring post office, always eager and ready to serve you. The boring fire department, forever on the alert to come to your aid in a time of need. The boring garage, a hard-working enterprise where business is always bustling. And then there's the boring school, where students are bright and eager to learn something new every day. I hope I'm not boring you. Boredom. My mind's compiled. Trucks go rolling by. Past the pumps and highway signs. You know? This is the strangest thing, but ever since I got to boring, I can't stop yawning. The old timers are fighting us young people because they want it to stay the way it is. Well, nothing is going to stay the way it is. So now we are going to have a flea market, which is a big deal. What's the most exciting thing you've seen here lately? Oh, see. I've seen a couple of big trucks almost tip over out here. Jerry, does anything exciting happen here in Boring? Well, they have a few fights. Why do they fight? I guess because they're bored. As you can readily see, not a heck of a lot goes on in Boring. But that's not how the town got its name. It was named after William Boring, who, back in 1883, donated land for the first school in the area. Since then, there have been many generations of Boring families living in Boring. Mr. Boring, how are you? How are you? Well, come in. Thank you. Uh, Today, Willard and Francis Boring are the senior members of the Boring clan. Yes. Willard told me all about the Boring family tree. My grandfather's name was William Boring, and his, my grandmother was Sarah Boring. My father's name was Orville Boring. My mother's name was Lucy Boring. Uh, I'm Willard Boring, and my wife is Frances Boring. My oldest son is Bob Boring. His wife is Glenda Boring. We have two sons, a Daryl Boring and a Mike Boring. This boring assignment was beginning to get to me. I decided to visit the general store to look for something to eat and someone with a sense of humor. Do you know any boring jokes? I don't. No. But we do sell boring greeting cards here. So here we are together, machines and me. I feel about as local as a fish in a tree in this boring. Finally, I knew it was time to leave Boring. My jaw was aching from yawning, and twice I'd almost fallen asleep in the middle of Main Street. Past the pumps and highway signs. 